can do it. You know, I'm appearing together with uh, my sister, Ms. Swiga. I'm present, my lady. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, we are equally holding brief for our senior, Mr. Dunstan Omari. For the petitioners, Your Honor. Let's ship in this matter. Yes. My name is Ochuangi. I appear for the fifth respondent. Yes. May I the court? Yes. The matter, Ms. Kerubo, for the third respondent. Yes. May I please the court? Yes. 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 If I may please the court, I'm um, Jelly. I appear for the sixth respondent. Could you please uh, just spell your name? K Y E L I. Sorry, counsel. K Y E L I. For which party? For the sixth respondent, ESCC. Yes. And my lady Wabwire, I do appear for first, second, seventh, and eighth respondents. Yes. Uh, my lady, assuming that is the entire quorum. Yes. Uh, my lady, this matter has been listed as coming up for directions. Yes. of uh, our application dated the 20th of August 2024. My lady, the substratum of that application yes. six conservatory orders against the respondents from establishing or developing or approving any plans relating to the establishment of a university at Kiabunyoru. Itibo Ward, North Mugirango. Uh, my lady, that application has been supported by an affidavit. Your leadership, your leadership with your with your kind respect, with your kind permission. This application is not for argument or for hearing today. Your Honor, your Honor, your Honor kindly, kindly. I'm, I'm request, I request for indulgence from the court. You, you, you leadership with your permission. Even from their notice of motion, the mention they served on us, it is indicating it is for mention for directions. It is not for hearing. So I don't not know why my colleague is arguing the application. Because uh, we have not said whether we have maybe. filed any responses. We have not said whether we have not filed or filed so that we can seek for further directions from the court. This application is not for hearing. Kindly, let us let the court give us time so that we can be able to respond and tell the court whether we have responded or not. And if not, what are we supposed to do? Kindly. Okay. Uh, with, all, with all due respect to my colleague, I, I think uh, he just caught me in the midst of myself speaking. And what I was doing was appraising the court on the pleadings on the file, not arguing the application. So I but would I ask that counsel. No, I'm not arguing the, the application, the counsel. Application. And if you would be just keen to listen, I was appraising the court on what documents are on record. If it comes no, to arguing the application, the I would have indicated as such. 
Therefore, kindly, uh, counsel, I would, as, I would actually ask you to uh, keep quiet briefly so that I can address the court as to the pleadings on the file. I'm not arguing the application. If that was the case, I would have actually done so. Mr. Kinyanjui. So Mr. Kinyanjui. Yes, Your Honor. Um, uh, so that it does not seem like uh, you are uh, arguing an application, you would have just uh, drawn my attention to your application that is coming up for directions or for mention. You have yes, said it is. You have said it is dated twentieth of August, twenty twenty-four. Then Correct, you, my lady. you tell us if you have served or if the other parties have uh, what, what they have filed, really, so that you know. As you are speaking, I'm also recording, so I don't want to take a long time recording uh, the prayer sought or the affidavits that have been filed or the the grounds, if the matter is not proceeding uh, for hearing as such. Just uh, introduce the application, course. just introduce the matter that is before me and the status of the pleadings without course, going uh, into the contents of the pleadings, at least for now. Much, my lady. Yes. Uh, my lady, the application was served on all the respondents. And uh, in as much as you've not yet been served with anything, we were able to pick up from the CTA system grounds of objection filed by the AG and Nyamira County government. My lady, there's also an affidavit of service on record. indicating as much very well that the application was indeed filed and I'm sorry was indeed served okay let me hear from mr um if we go uh, by way of uh, in a sequential manner i'll hear from uh, the first respondent first second seventh eighth respondents mr wabuire my lady, thank you. May I start by correcting the record? Indeed, we filed our grounds of opposition in opposition to the application by the petitioners. And we served through email. Yes. And so we confirm that uh, we are ready to contest the application. We can take directions on our part. Then I will move to Ms. Kerubo. My lady, equally on our part, we did file our grounds of opposition and served upon uh, the applicants. We're ready to take directions. Then I'll move to Mr. Ochwangi. Yes, Lordship, I filed my rippling of David on 24th September 2024, and I served my colleague Dan Sanomari yesterday. So I filed response to the seed application. Then lastly, Mr. Ayeli. My lady, um... I confirm that uh, the application was served on uh, the sixth respondent uh, headquarters and uh, it was transferred to uh, our regional office to deal with. I have prepared a reply after David, which I'm yet to, uh, to file and serve. I'll be requesting for uh, three days uh, to do so. So coming back to Mr. Kinyanjui, what directions do you seek for today? Mr. Kinyanjui, you are muted. Uh, my apologies, uh, your leadership. I am seeking that uh, 
humbly so we can dispense this application with written pros, uh, written submissions uh, my lady will only be seeking three days given the urgency of the matter and will not be taking more than three days to file and serve our submissions Does, any, does anyone have a contrary opinion on uh, the filing of submissions or the canvassing of the application by way of written submissions? Let's see on my part for the fifth respondent. I have no yes. objection. We can argue the application by way of written submissions. For me, I can take five days from today, from the time I'm served with the applicant's written submissions. Equally, my lady, on my part, I have no position. We can be given seven days upon service to put in our submissions. My lady, for the third respondent, we do not have any objection. We can take uh, seven days. My lady, I can see there is someone called Wilkins or Choki. Perhaps he can be muted. I have muted everyone so that. Uh, we can hear each other. So directions are as follows. The sixth respondent is granted three days to file and serve its response. The application dated 20th August 2024 will be canvassed by way of written submissions to be filed and exchanged before the next mentioned date. So I my lady, we have the 4th of October. My, 4th of October. My lady, perhaps before we take our next mention date, having taken directions on this application, I would humbly be seeking the indulgence of this honorable court. That given that all parties are present, that at least we have some temporary orders uh, which are to operate as an injunction against the respondents and uh, my lady the basis of the reason the basis of why i am making that application is that i believe together with the vacation application chamber summons dated the 20th of august 2024 i had a next a newspaper clipping from the People's Daily, where it reported that a delegation of professors from the Commission of University Education had actually acted on William Ruto's directives and visited Kiabonyoru over that weekend for a physical inspection to give a report for the establishment of the university that we are seeking to injunct, my lady. So already we can see that the respondents are moving in haste. And if we are not protected, my lady, we'll be equally looking, we'll, we'll be equally losing the subject matter of the main petition. Therefore, Joanna, I will be praying that this court invokes its saving inherent powers and temporarily 
inject the respondents from acting on the directives of William Ruto. Therefore, we'll be praying for prayer number D to be granted in the interim. Uh, my lady, having calculated the cumulative days, we have counted 13 days of exchanging submissions. Therefore, it is still proper for this court to grant an injunction pending the next mentioned date. We humbly pray so, my lady. Respondents, let me have your feedback. Do you have any objection to the granting of the interim orders to preserve the subject matter? My lady, if I may go first. Yes. My lady, we are opposed to that application for the interim orders. The essence being that uh, once they file the application, we have endeavored to respond within time. Because the issues that are before court are very contested issues. And it will be the best of uh, interest of everyone that the court gets to hear all the parties before it can make this particular decision to grant the orders. And that's the essence why we have filed the responses, so that the court will be able to appraise the responses before it can decide whether to grant the orders or not. What is the status quo right uh, now? What is the status quo? Has the university been, uh, has the construction started? Uh, Your Lordship, at the moment, I cannot confirm the status. But if given time, I can consult so that I give the status. And number two, which is just a word of cautious, the directive was given by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya. It was not a directive from William Ruto, as my colleague will want uh, it to appear. So can we have the decorum while addressing the head of the state? Well, um, for purposes of uh, this court, I can see that there's a lot of emotions in this matter. But from our end, this is an application uh, for conservatory orders just like any other, and we will treat it as such. So these are my directions. Uh, as I've said, six respondents, you have three days to file and serve your response. There are uh, application will be conversed by way of written submissions to be filed and exchanged before the next mentioned date. I will give each side three days to comply. We'll mention the matter on 4th of October, and I'll say that as of now, the status quo to be maintained. My lady, you said 4th of October. Did you give me 4th? I said 24th. Sorry, I didn't hear that correctly. 24th of October. Status quo currently obtaining in respect to in, in respect to the declaration made by His Excellency to be maintained. To In respect to the declaration made by His Excellency to be maintained. Most of last, my lady. Pardon, my lady. Most... Pardon, my apologies. Pardon, my lady. I did not record your last uh, direction, my lady. My apologies. I'm saying the status quo currently obtaining in respect to the approval of Kiabunyoru Itibo Ward as the location for Nyamira University to be maintained. Most of my lady. My lady, let we do have civil appeal 013 of 2024. In the matter, my lady, we have High 
Fort Silver Pill E030 of 2024, Ghana Investment Limited versus Zakayo Misiani Boshire. May please the court? Just, just give me a second, counsel. All right, all right. 